Hey there, my name is Brian Bishop and I'm a sales engineer with Sitecore. Today we're going to talk about using Azure Cognitive Services to translate content from Content Hub. We'll start with our content work screen and from here you can see all the content that's assigned to me and a rough value of the amount of effort involved. If I look at all work I can see a Trello-like visualization of all the content in flight. I'll select article. You can see there are two previously translated pieces of content and then if we scroll down we'll see the original English uh, rendition. We'll select that and we'll bring up the content detail screen. From here, you can see all the two, the variants that are previously translated and their relationship to the original. And since we have a mobile app that does everything that you can do with a desktop app, why not bring this up and translate this content from a mobile app? So I'll select that piece of content, the English version, and go ahead and click localize, select Belgian Dutch, for the language of choice. And then when it brings it back up, I'll just hit the translate content button. That's gonna send the text off to Azure Cognitive Services. And from there, we'll get an original translation using machine learning. When I refresh this piece of content on my phone, you'll start to see the Dutch translation appear. This is often really just a starting point. Again, it's machine learning. The machine learning algorithms are trainable and do learn, but it's often a, you know, a compelling uh, part of the offering to submit this content into a workflow uh, from which a native Dutch speaker can review the content for nuance. Uh, in this case, you can see here, I've got my three variants. The Dutch is there. I'll go ahead and use our workflow and governance module to just send that to uh, uh, someone for approval. And likely it's a Dutch speaker just to make sure that this content is appropriate in, in, in every nuance. So that's how you can use Content Hub to translate content using Azure Machine Learning. Thank you for your time today.